Hi traders and welcome to FXDD live trading webinar. Today, 30th of January 2019, my name is Nenad. And let's see if uh, we will have some uh, good chance to trade the market. Uh, before we begin, actually, always with disclaimer, foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Have in mind that leverage creates additional risk and loss exposure. Uh, please educate yourself on the risks associated with Forex trading and have in mind that everything you see here is my personal opinion only. On these web addresses, guys, here I will uh, uh, type it in the chat. Please sign up for more uh, live trading videos and, of course, uh, educational videos. So we can start, actually, we might have a trade uh, very soon. I'm watching the chart and this is it. This is the euro dollar. Uh, euro dollar is uh, going uh, uh, in uh, on a retracement now because we had uh, ADP that was uh, the numbers came out better than expected. So now we see some nice retracement. Let's see. Uh, this candle could be interesting. If the price doesn't break the low, uh, this uh, could actually go uh, to the upside. So we are waiting for, to see what the euro dollar will give us. Actually, uh, euro dollar, uh, as long as it's kept above this level, it should be okay. If it breaks this low, then it will go to a deeper retracement. Uh, basically, it should not uh, get to this projection low. So uh, we might have a trade. Uh, I am paying attention to this already. I have one trade running that I entered at this spot. The stop loss has been hit. On my other account because my stop loss is 1402 exactly it's uh, placed below this uh, level seven pips so uh, maybe this one will also go higher but let's see let's wait uh, we need a confirmation actually from uh yeah i would like to see if this candle will break this uh, bollinger band here but actually this could also go more to the upside and then if we decide to enter the trade uh, our stop loss should be below this projection low but as i already said uh, on my other account i have a smaller trade running here from this spot with a stop loss uh, at 1402 so uh, for this one we might have enter uh, we might enter the trade but our stop loss should be placed below this low but let's wait this could like a potential rejection JP dollar also rejected guys it was uh maybe there will be a change of a trend if uh, this low breaks down the price could go here then come retest this level and proceed down but still it's not confirmed yet uh anywhere anyway we need to wait definitely we need to wait uh uh other pairs i'm watching also on my other uh, monitors i'm paying attention to this so uh yeah i'm watching it here and i will pay attention to your questions uh Velislav is asking uh, euro australian dollar for our lower lows uh break of trend line on four hour retest going down what do you think let's see i will i'm paying attention to this euro dollar but also euro uh, australian dollar lower lows yeah this is for our template here uh, i would still wait for a confirmation daily yeah not not very clear uh i know what you think you think uh probably about this trend line right uh that was a retest uh, now the price is going down but you see it's an ultimate support here well Islam, this is ultimate support zero eight uh, marimet level i'm using marimet for four hour charts uh, not very good in my opinion uh, because this is support now and if this support holds the price will probably um, uh, go more to the upside especially if the euro dollar wants to uh, proceed uh, up uh, from this spot because guys this is still uptrend do you see this you have a trend line here even if this breaks lower guys here this will still be uptrend so I, I'm waiting for a another buy if i'm stopped out on my other account uh, here because he, see this if you place fibonacci retracement even if it breaks the trend line here at around this spot it's a 50 uh, percent of retracement here you have an order block this is a strong order block so if the price breaks the low it could make a u-turn around this spot 
So I'm waiting for that. Uh, as I already told you in my yesterday uh, trading, live trading webinar, this is the zone. This 1380, 3090 is the zone where euro dollar could reverse and bounce again. So if this trend line is broken, I will be probably entering again here on this spot where I said yesterday, this is okay level and then place a stop loss a little bit below 1350 because this is, you see, 60. This, this is a good confluence for placing stop losses. So not a big stop from internet perspective, but let's wait. If this candle manages to go inside here, the Bollinger Bands, a little bit inside, and it will be a signal that the price could probably turn again, bounce from this spot because ADP came better than expected. But have in mind that uh, NFP is uh, following, uh, NFP follows ADP, right? And NFP is always the first Friday each month. So this Friday we will have NFP. But it doesn't mean that if the ADP numbers are good, the whole uh, NFP report will be good too. Because uh, uh, the same report on NFP will uh, give you the numbers on unemployment claims and average hourly earnings. These two other news, those two other news uh, will be actually uh, guiding probably the NFP data release. Because each time the NFP is released, you will see unemployment numbers and average hourly earnings. So for me, that is even more important sometimes than, than edit, uh, NFP itself. Because now traders might calculate in the price that because ADP was good, the NFP will be good too. But what about unemployment and what about the average earnings? If those numbers come uh, uh, worse than expected, then uh, the euro dollar will shoot up. No matter the NFP. It might drop initially and then bang, shoot up. So that is why uh, the uh, euro dollar is indecisive. Usually, like five, six years ago, uh, when I traded the ADP, it was much more uh, intensive. Now you see the price dropped, but it's still not a big drop. It dropped only 20, 25 pips. So it's not a big drop. Uh, and on my other account, I'm still long uh, from my live trading group. I came along and my uh, low is placed at 1402, uh, seven pips from the level here. So, yeah, uh, I'm waiting to see if this will break. But I think I will make another uh, entry if I see a reversal pattern here. But this could actually uh, go also more to the upside. It can bounce if the price breaks again in the uh, Bollinger Bands. Uh, Euro, Australian dollar, as I said again, I'm not sure. I don't think it. this is supported. So I would not go short. Honestly, Velislav, I would not go short here on the Euro, Australian dollar. I would, I would uh, wait for this. Definitely, I, I will wait for this. Uh, again, small trade can be initiated here. Guys, I'm actually, I think I might open a smaller trade here. Uh, not a big risk. Uh, okay, not a big risk here. Risking the profits. You see the account, live account, only risking profits. For this trade, I would place my stop loss here at 13.75 on this account. 13, actually, I would go lower. The projection low, so 13.70. Three and the target I would go for this trade with full price projection. Not saying it will reach it, but from risk to reward perspective, it could be good. Uh, because I think that you see this diamond shape actually. Uh, if this candle close higher, just a little bit higher, that would be a definitely a good long position because uh, this is uh, this would be this would qualify for T89 pattern. So this would be a good, good, good position. So now you see, I'm long here. Stop loss is there. Price is here. Always risk, guys. Uh, small percent of your account. And uh, yeah, you see, I'm risking only the profits. I started this with 10,000. So I'm risking only some part, a small part of profits uh, of these profits that I already made with live trading here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually waiting for this, uh, guys. Uh, and, uh, yeah, on my other account, uh, stop loss is here. But that was the trade that I took from this arrow here. So, 
Yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Let's see. Uh, okay, uh, 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 this is uh, the trade based on this candle here and based on probabilities. They're actually, uh, you see, this is an um, uptrend, definitely. And here, this is definitely an uptrend. Here you see this is the zone where the price actually, it, it should definitely stay above this zone if it wants to go higher. If it breaks the trend line, this zone should held, hold it. And if it breaks below the projection low, then we might see a deeper retracement uh, during the night, during the Tokyo session. But if the price manages to go in our direction to the wrong side, it needs to close about uh, 1425 in order to proceed with further bullish momentum towards 1450. If it breaks 1450, then uh, there is a good chance it will hit the projection high here and eventually this nice level here, 1490, based on historical buyers and sellers. Although the weekly is there, I don't think that price will get to 1530 uh, before the NFP, whatever. This is the waiting mode now to see if the euro dollar will proceed to this level or not. But this is important pivotal level because if it breaks higher, then the door towards 1600 will be open. So yeah, we are long here and let's wait, guys. Live trade, uh, euro dollar entry 1417, stop loss 1373. Uh, FXDD account uh, and the target final the projection is the ATR projection confluence here. Uh, 14, uh, you can actually uh, place it here, 4075, but I actually uh, decided to for, for 1490 because of this. You see, previous double top, previous head and shoulders. Usually the price is magnetically pulled if it wants to go up and if it breaks 1450. It will probably come to this projection, and if it breaks, that will be the level. But here, if it gets there, I will be ready to protect the trade, if it gets there. If not, guys, we might get stopped out, but that's the risk. Again, you're trading the risk, so your stop-loss levels should always be within your risk limits. Now, someone would say, why didn't you open one lot? Because, guys, it wouldn't justify my trade. I This is the profits that I made with live trading, so... Uh, $396. Why would I risk everything in a single trade? I don't do it. Uh, Tab Trader, uh, hi, Nana. Can you please send the MACD Cam indicator? Uh, okay, uh, please uh, send me an email. My email at uh, info at elite currency, yeah, for the indicator. Here. Okay. Okay, send the email, please, and I will uh, send you this indicator, but just uh, send me an email. Okay, so uh, long trade running. Let's see, let's wait. I mean, guys, this is just, uh, you see, when, when you open a small risk trade, uh, you should definitely be more relaxed. You don't need to worry about losing uh, a lot because, guys, I, I will repeat again. When you trade forex market, you're actually trading the risk, okay? And keep it low risk, keep it safe, okay? So let's see, let's wait what will happen with euro dollar trade. Do you have any other questions, guys, to ask me? So this is the only trade that I'm in today. Uh, Cat Yen, I traded today from this spot and I managed to grab uh, uh, approximately 32 pips. It hit the target, but my target was like uh, 40 pips and I took 32 pips. So uh, KDN was very good. T this is T89. Very, very good example of T89 pattern here. That came uh, straight uh, to our profit target. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's wait. Now I see the news. U.S. December pending home sales. Uh, worst yearly reading since 2014. This is not good for dollar, guys. So again... As I'm saying, if the price gets lower, I'm expecting again to reverse from this spot. But let's see, let's wait if it drops, really. It's not very good reading for the dollar. Uh, the worst reading now on Forex Live, I see pending home sales. It's important. Uh, housing market is very important, guys. Don't forget that global financial crisis, when it started, uh, you know, if you, if you remember, 
uh, it was like housing market. And that's always the important data for the US economy. Home sales also, very, very important, guys. Uh, okay, um, other trades, I don't see anything uh, uh, except maybe this uh, GBP dollar, if it makes a new low then closes inside, it might go up. But GBP is, is very susceptible to headline risk. Any headline that comes mentioning Brexit is a potential high risk uh, on GBP trade. So I'm careful, guys, on the GBP. Renu is asking about the gold. Uh, yeah, let's see gold. Again, rejection from this spot. I would say it could go up here, but this is a smaller retracement. You see, it could go up from this spot, but if it doesn't, then this is a spot to watch for, for a long trade. This, this is uptrend. Obviously, we have another trend line here that is holding the trend in place. You see, and until this spot, everything is by the dip. So if, it, if this is by the dip, here is also by the dip because this is uptrend. So yeah, gold is uptrend, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so you see it could go up. Uh, if this candle closes on one hour above this high, that is 1311.36, uh, I think that is a signal to, uh, for you to go long. But also, if the euro, if euro dollar continues to go up, if it proceeds with up uh, upside movement, then yeah, this gold will uh, follow because they are in a positive correlation. Still, we are in a waiting mode. Uh, the price is not going anywhere now. We need to wait, guys. We definitely need to wait. Okay. Do you have any other questions, guys? I'm. Uh, reading your chats so euro dollar potential upside from this spot above this spot will probably go more to the upside retesting this level this is also a river, uh, possible reversal spot okay below this we might see another drop but this is still bullish uh the gold what potential reversal spot potential reversal 130620 1305 so watch for these levels Still uptrend, definitely. Okay, the, any other pair, guys? Uh, Euro dollar, you see a uh, higher low here. So this could actually proceed maybe to the upside towards this level. Uh, dollar CAD dropping, as I said today on my analysis, it's dropping, guys. Dollar CAD is dropping, but it's at support now. So maybe the dollar cat will reverse to the upside. Is 1306 a buy for a gold? Let's see. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Renu, but uh, I would like to see a reversal pattern here. Not like you are buying if you see a big bearish candle. This is a level, but you need to see some sign, some cue that the price might reverse. And the queue is actually a reversal pattern from this spot. So if you can spot a reversal pattern around 1306, okay, then it would be a good sign uh, for you to enter a long trade. But yeah, this is the zone indeed. I'm not saying that also watch this uh, candle. Uh, hourly close about 1311.36 could initiate a next, next level, next uh, wave of buyers. So watch for that. Yeah, that's it. Uh, do you have any other questions, guys? Uh, I think we covered it all. So uh, currently, euro dollar uh, might go down, as I say, but as long as it's kept above this ATR low, uh, uh, it's still buy on the dip. This is the next level to watch for with a small stop, only 15 pip stop here. If it breaks it, that could be another chance. But guys, as I'm saying, a close above this level, and this will probably go up again. Test 1450, probably this uh, level until uh, Friday, because Friday is NFP. And average hourly earnings and unemployment claims. Don't forget, NFP is not the most important data for the US dollar. 
Unemployment claims, average hourly earnings, also very important. Any deviation from the predicted numbers will make a nice move on the dollar yen and the euro dollar. The time at a time when markets, uh, uh, when when the news is released, usually algo trading is the first to follow because the algos are trading based on news. They instantly spike the price up or down depending on the deviation from the predicted results. Algos are algorithm robots that do high frequency trading on institutional accounts. For us traders, normal manual retail traders, uh, guys, uh, uh, it's always good to, if you want to trade the news, to wait for the spike and then trade it. I will teach you on my educational webinars how to trade the NFP report, especially I have an NFP, NFP trading system that I will teach on my educational webinars. Sign up for those. Uh, this is the link in the chat, and uh, I, I, I will be glad of teaching you that. So I think that it's time to call it a day. Uh, Euro dollar uh, from this spot, this is technical trading. This is also technical along here. Uh, you can see it on live account. Uh, let's see what will happen if the price gets to 14.50. Uh, I advise you to I advise to protect the trade. If it gets uh, well, if it gets uh, higher, uh, then good. Uh, you just move your stop loss uh, below 14.70. If it gets above, and you will be riding a free ride. So managing your trade is always important. Let's see. This could really go up. If this one hour candle closes above 14.20, also from this spot, we see a rejection. So thank you, guys. I don't see any questions. Hope that you enjoyed this uh, live trading. Uh, as always, guys, present you with the best trading ideas. Uh, and I hope that uh, you will also join educational webinars to see uh, which tools I use, uh, how I trade, and what is the best possible education on the internet guys you came to the right place thank you guys uh wish you a great trading day do not over risk and as always trade safe cheers everyone